Namaste, dear fans. Welcome to One Minute News Every Day. I am the news reporter Limbuham Bahadu. The U.S. government has contacted Zelensky and offers helps to him to leave Ukraine on twenty six February two thousand twenty two. Zelensky has rejected. He said that he does not lead a free ride. He leads weapons to fight back. There are gun shoots in the center of the capital and near the government headquarters. The Ukraine government asks the citizens to stay in the basements, to not go near the windows and balcony. Up to twenty seven February two thousand twenty two, Russian troops are approaching to the center of Kiev, the capital of Ukraine. The fightings are still taking place in the international airport in Kiev. The Russian troops cannot successfully control the airport up to now. If the Russian troops can control the airport, more Russian troops can be sent by air caps. To Kiev, oil depots near Kiev have been bombed. A nuclear reprocessing station near Kiev have been bombed. Up to twenty eight February two thousand twenty two, many Russian soldiers have surrendered in Ukraine. Some Russian soldiers visit a supermarket and try to pay for the items that they have taken. Some of them tried to buy petrol in a petrol station. Some of them visit the police station and ask for help. They all have been arrested by Ukraine government. The arrested Russian soldiers said that they did not join the war. They just joined the military exercise. On first March two thousand twenty-two, the peace talk between Ukraine and Russia have organized in Belarus. Russia demands for a demilitarized and political neutral Ukraine. Russia also demands Ukraine to recognize to the sovereignty of Russia over Crimea. Crimea has been occupied by Russia from Ukraine in 2014. No argument has been made. On 1st March 2022. Manchester United has played a football match against Peterborough United in order to show support to Ukraine. Manchester United has appointed Sinchenko, an Ukrainian player, to be the captain of the team in the match. We support Ukraine is shown in the big screen of the stadium. Life will defeat death. Brightness will defeat. Darkness, glory to Ukraine. After twenty-four hours bombing to the residential areas in Kharkov from Russian artillery, on third March two thousand twenty-two, the commander of the special forces of Ukraine has responded. Congratulations to the Russian artillery. After you have covered the peace zones with bombs towards our relatives. Grandchildren and family members, you the muggers have been our first target. Even you are far away, we have locked up your locations. From now on, we will stop accepting captured Russian artillery. We will kill you all. We are not representing the death. We are more terrible than death, he said.